All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a blur mask in After Effects. So I've got my example image here, which is the stock photo of this snowy forest. So first things first, I'm gonna go over here, right click and make a new adjustment layer. So with my adjustment layer selected, I'm gonna go up to the tool section over here and I'm gonna go and pick an ellipsis tool here. And I can just go ahead and draw my shape, but what you can do is just double click here and it will make the shape for you. So now what I'm gonna do is just quickly edit the individual points. So I'm just gonna make it so it actually comes into the center more rather than just on the outside. So I'm just gonna draw this in here. Uh, normally I would do this with more accuracy, but I'm just gonna do it quickly for the sake of this tutorial. So now we've got a nice mask shape, which is roughly in the middle here. So now I'm gonna actually add the blur effect. So I'm gonna to go to my adjustment layer, right click, effect, and then go to blur and sharpen. And there are numerous different blur filters to use. I'm just gonna go for lens blur for this example. Okay, so you'll notice right away that it's added the blur in the wrong part. We want it on the outside rather than the inside. And this is fine, I'm just gonna change this later. But first of all, I've noticed that the blur is quite strong. So I'm gonna edit the value from 15 to about eight. So it's, uh, it's, it's more subtle. And then next, I'm gonna to go to my mask options, which is down here, and then just click on this arrow here to bring down the drop down menu so we have some more options here. And I'm gonna go over to this part here, which says inverted. So I'm gonna invert the attributes of this mask. So now you'll find that the blurring is actually in the right place, which is around the outside of the shot. And at this point, you might notice you will get a sort of weird border effect uh, right around the outside of your shot. And this is also fine because all you have to do is click this option here, repeat edge pixels, and it will get rid of the border there. So it's nice and fine. Okay, so at this point, you might notice that there is quite a sharp transparency between the non-blurred bits and the blurred bits. So it's not much of a subtle effect here. It's very sharp. Uh, and there's a really easy way of fixing this. And this is by editing the feathering options of your mask. So you'll notice there's various different options with your mask here. There's path, feather, opacity, and expansion. And we wanna focus on feather, and it'll be by default zero, which is why it's such a sharp transition. So if I put it up to about 50, you'll notice there is a nice gradual change between uh, non-blurred and blur, but it's still a bit abrupt. So I'm gonna go for about 100. And this will really feather out the effect. So you'll notice here that it's quite a nice gradual effect between non-blurred and blurred. And of course, you can change all of these options and animate them depending on the shot. This is just one example here. All right, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. And as always, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.